It's Gunmer time! Hello and welcome back to another video! So yeah, it's been a while again, but I mean, it's... I'm jumping the gun a bit here. Uh, I said in an earlier stream that I did that I wouldn't really make another video until September-ish. But, as I said, I'm jumping the gun a bit here because uh, this thing cannot really wait because I'm, I'm already kind of late with this uh, as the season in Diablo has been going on since I I think the 5th of August so I just want to get this out of the way right now so uh, what is this then you may ask well it's uh, a witch doctor build duh uh, because I'm uh, as you can see I'm maining witch doctor this season and uh, this is the build I have been going on with for uh, so far and I'm having a blast with it so it's uh, it's the new uh, Jade Harvester build. I did a video on this like a long time ago, but I, I'm gonna do a more complete uh, guide to this now. Uh, before I uh, continue, I want to say, stress that this build is uh, heavily influenced by uh, the the guides of like Quinn 69 and maybe Riker, but I, I added my own little spins to it. Uh, so let's go over the skills real quick here. Uh, of course, you will be using Haunt. Well, Haunt and Locust Swarm because of, you know, the Jade Harvest and all. Uh, Haunt will be using the Poison Spirit rune uh, simply because of an item I will go over later when I talk about the gear. Uh, and uh, because it, it gives 20% more damage from your attacks when you haunt an enemy, which is, you know, just amazing. Uh, Locust Swarm cl uh, Cloud of Insects rune uh, simply because. Uh, normally we'll be using Pestilence to spread faster, uh, but uh, also there is an item that pretty much just gives us the Pestilence rune, and uh, so we can just add some toughness to this instead, because when you affect enemies they deal 25% reduced damage, so yeah. Uh, Piranhas, Piranado to stun enemies and give uh, a nice damage boost, Spirit Walk Jaunt. As per usual, for like every witch of the build ever. Horrify, frightening aspect, because uh, toughness reasons, and also to just stun enemies. Uh, and uh, soul harvest, harvest is the, probably the most. Like you have haunt, locust swarm, and soul harvest. Those are the three, like trifecta skills uh, that make up the jade harvest build. And you don't have to, you know worry about what rune to use here, because the Jade Harvester set gives you all runes. Uh, passives, Grave Injustice, uh, a given. Like, there is no build right now. There, there is no Witch Doctor build that ha doesn't use this. It's just amazing. Uh, confidence Ritual is debatable. Uh, this is mainly because if you want to go with a more glass cannony type of Witch Doctor, uh, you can switch this out for Spirit Vessel if you want. If you were planning to go to the higher Great Rifts, then I would suggest you picking Spirit, uh, spirit Vessel here. Uh, Swampland Attunement. I, I haven't really seen... I think Quinn used this. Uh, I haven't really seen anyone else pick this one. But I just love it, because you get so much resistance when there are uh, a lot of swarmy enemies around you. And uh, pretty much the... the the only passive that you absolutely need to have is Creeping Death. Because that just gives you so much extra damage. And uh, so, how did, uh, let's go over the basic uh, of, of uh, the gearing and how the build works. Uh, oh yeah, and by the way, uh, up above here, there somewhere, there will be a video playing uh, to show you how the build works while I explain it. So, okay, uh, as you can see, full Jade Harvester set, uh, it gives you, uh, when you haunt something and then you haunt them again, they will take an instant, a huge burst of damage, and also it gives Soul Harvest every rune. Also, it uh, reduces the cooldown on Haunt and Locust, uh, not, not, <laughs> not Haunt and Locust Swarm, but... The, the cooldown on your Soul Harvest is reduced every time you load the Swarm and Haunt, so yeah. Uh, and also the most important thing, uh, part of the set, is that 
when you soul harvest, it consumes your dots to deal a shit ton of damage. Uh, so that's basically how you deal damage in this uh, build. Let's go over the important items here. Uh, Haunting Girdle, this is uh, the reason why we don't use the, the double uh, haunt, the double spirit rune on haunt. Because this releases one extra spirit, which uh, isn't that... If, if you would, were to choose the extra spirit rune on the haunt, you would, uh, you would release three spirits. But I don't really see the point in that, because 20% extra damage uh, on, on uh, two haunts spirits is pretty decent, well, nonetheless. So I would choose that. Uh, also, you will be using those bracers here. Uh, just because of uh, toughness reasons, every time, well, when you soul harvest and gain those stacks of soul, uh, soul harvest, you will receive 6% reduced damage taken. Uh, so that's like that's like 30% reduced damage on 5 stacks, which is the maximum, unless you uh, pick up an item I will show you later. Uh, Vile Hive is probably one of the two most important non-set items in this build because it gives you the pestilence rune and uh, well locust swarm deals additional damage which uh, plays into the exploding part of the, the soul harvest uh, you will be using uh, travel's pledge compass rose combo because both of toughness reasons because when you run around uh, you will receive 50% uh, up to 50% damage reduced, and when standing still, you will gain up to 100% damage uh, take uh, damage dealt, I should say. Uh, as for weapons, uh, it's there really exists no particular weapon that will really boost your damage in a main way. Like no nothing that the only weapon I would recommend to use if if you can't get it, it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, it's mainly for toughness reasons, but uh, the one weapon I would recommend is Sacred Harvester. Uh, because it allows you to stack Soul Harvest 10 times, aka double the amount, that's what normally it does. Uh, leg legendary Gems, uh, I would use Bane of the Trapped, very obvious, Bane of the Stricken. Purely for damage and esoteric alteration. You can use another game if you want to be a complete and other death machine when it comes to damage. This is mainly used for, uh, you know, toughness reasons. So that's the gearing and uh, the skills and all that. Uh, let's go over the cubed items. So the cubed items are probably one of the most obvious items you can ever think of here because there are only like three options uh, well in the weapon slot you may vary a bit but I would suggest using furnace in the weapon slots just because of you know elite damage and all uh, in the armor slot there is n really no uh, you know you, ha you basically have one choice and it's amazing. It's uh, the Quetzalcoatl helmet, uh, or the Voodoo mask, I should say, because it uh, it uh, does the same. It makes your dots do the same amount of damage in half the time. And uh, what that translates to, into is that uh, because the soul harvesting you do, it uh, consumes the dots, uh, the, the the total damage that the dot uh, does on a certain enemy, and that just means you deal uh, a lot more damage. And for the ring slot, here we come to the probably the most broken and useful item in the whole game right now. At least for Witch Doctor, but I would argue the whole game. It's uh, it's called Ring of Emptiness. And what it basically does is, it increases the damage you deal to targets that has both Locust Swarm and Haunt by 300%. Yeah, I just said that. 300% damage. So you can just... Think of what that soul harvest will do. I mean, you probably see it in the video. Uh, but yeah, those are basically the things you need to to, to think of here. Uh, for, for paragon points uh, and you know stats you want to be going after, 
I would suggest just uh, th the most important stat you will be going after is critical hit uh, damage. Critical hit chance is not really that important. You will be taking that after damage, of course. Uh, but damage is the number one prior priority, uh, followed by area damage. Because those two together with this build is just pure amazement. I I I like it's it's so incredible. I you you can see it up there. So yeah, that's basically this build in a nutshell. So uh, I hope you enjoyed my little guide here. And uh, with that said, I'll see you next time. Gunver out.